Next.js 16 is out now and the headline feature is cache components. These allow you to have pages made up of both static and dynamic content and use partial pre-rendering to send the static bits as HTML and stream in the dynamic bits once they're ready. They also make caching much more composable with the use cache directive. This can be put at the top of a file, component or function so that the work to fetch that data only needs to happen once and anyone visiting the page in the future can load that heavily cached static HTML immediately. This also allows the router to prefetch that pre-rendered content and even kick off a request for that dynamic stuff before the navigation is complete. There are still some things to work out with user specific content where the things displayed on a page are unique for every user, but Next.js are working on this use cache private API designed for exactly this use case. So by setting cache components to true in your next config file, you get some pretty powerful caching tools. And I think we'll see some pretty huge performance benefits coming in the future, even for entirely dynamic user-specific pages.